My favorite day of the week is when I see my post-operative patients uh, because oftentimes I can see a smile on their face. They have a lot of gratitude for the new vision that they have and it, it makes me feel very happy, very privileged, very honored to be able to help people in that way. Well, um, I've always had glasses, well, since eight years old, so that's 20 plus years of wearing glasses. And if something were to happen to uh, contacts or glasses, you know, I, I couldn't have that sense of sight. And so that can be pretty debilitating when it's something that I rely on. It's a scary thing to have to, to think about or to experience. A lot of our patients can't see anything without their glasses and you know, it's exciting to uh, participate in, in vision correction be, because people have been enslaved by their glasses uh, for their entire lives and to see people walking around with, without them and, and seeing well is very rewarding. You know, I've been wearing glasses since I was seven years old. I started wearing contacts when I was 12. It's always been a, a crutch that I've had to carry around with me or a burden. It was like trying to remember your passport if you're going on an international trip because you have to make sure that you have that with you at all times and, and it's it's just kind of a constant anxiety. When I thought about this procedure I wanted to go with you know the best place that I could possibly go and I talked to lots of colleagues of mine about where they went for their procedure and I kept here in Spokane Eye Clinic. I love working at Spokane Eye Clinic. I'm surrounded by such wonderful people. The other doctors are just amazingly qualified. I trust every one of them. Uh, we work as a team here, and that is the most spectacular thing about this eye clinic. We have more ophthalmologists here that are subspecialty trained than they have at the University of uh, Washington. They bring that personal piece to it, so I'm not just another number or another patient, you know. They treat you like you're one of their friends or, you know, like your family and, and they explain everything to you. They take their time. The staff is incredibly well trained. They have the absolute best equipment that I could possibly find anywhere in the area. And we're the biggest eye clinic in between Seattle and Minnesota. I couldn't have asked for a better place to work. I've known several people who have over the past had either PRK or LASIK and you know several of my family members have and so I've kind of was able to glean from their story and their experience but um, experiencing it for yourself is, is something else. LASIK surgery is a surgery we perform on the cornea which is the front clear window of the eye and with LASIK we create a partial thickness flap in the cornea, lift that flap up. The laser reshapes the cornea and then we put the flap back down. That differs from PRK in that with PRK we remove just the outermost layer of cells on the cornea, a very thin layer called the corneal epithelium. The laser reshapes the cornea and then that cell layer grows back after about four to five days. Both procedures are aimed at giving patients more independence from glasses and contact lenses uh, and to try to improve the vision due to irregularities in the cornea or in the eye uh, shape itself. PRK, in, in my opinion, has, has many advantages. In general, we found that our patients have less complaints about some of the common side effects of LASIK, such as uh, glare and halos and dry eye. Both procedures are a great way to get rid of glasses and contact lenses. I really feel personally that there are fewer risks associated with PRK because you don't have to worry about the potential flap-related complications. Very few enhancements or touch-ups are needed and very few complications. As a surgeon, how can you beat that? On day of procedure, day of surgery, I never felt I was being rushed. They're there to guide you through the process and through everything, and so. I felt so confident in their evaluation of my eyesight, my eyes, and what the outcome would be that <clears throat> the day I went in there, I was, it was enjoyable. It was so quick, so painless, a lot easier than, than I had pictured in my head. The level of care that I received was phenomenal. Dr. Brandt was very professional. I never felt pressured into anything. And The funny thing was, I was still expecting it to be a longer procedure, and he said, you're done. This is absolutely the best money I've ever spent. Uh, the quality of life 
for me has improved tremendously. It's, it's like having a, a crutch that you've had for years instantly removed. It is, it's a life changer, it's a game changer. You know, you can see <laughs> the first morning I, I woke up where I could really appreciate and could see um, it. You know, you, you wake up and you look over at the alarm clock and you're like, I can see, the, I can see what it says, I can read it. I, I love doing refractive surgery. It's, it's great to see people um, walk in after they're healed up without their glasses. And There's no feeling like it. It is what drives me to be a better ophthalmologist. It's what drives me to come to work and take care of my patients every day. Is that rewarding feeling that I've done something to improve their life. If I can help just one person make a decision to get one of the most powerful things that I've ever done in my life. That, that to me, is, is a reward within itself. If they're going to get it done, they need to go to the best place. They need to go to the place that has the most experience, best equipment, the best doctors. I have no hesitation whatsoever about recommending Dr. Skoog and a Spokane Eye Clinic. Everybody wants to contribute to society, but for me to feel like I'm having an impact on someone's life by improving their vision, there's really no greater feeling than that.